take this. We're so far away that you seem unaware of my presence, Julius. You'd really have every right to say that I was ignoring you. No. Julius. I have been terribly worried lately. I heard many bad things about the reunion in the Senate, and it frightens me. People always exaggerate. I had the impression that many of the senators are already switching to my side. But Scylla hates you. Every day a little more. Getting rid of me, though, is another thing. Scylla hates you because you refuse to repudiate me. Because I'm a daughter of Tina, the man who spent his life blocking Scylla and his ambitions. No, it's not because of you that he rages. Certainly not. It's because I refuse his offers of protection and allegiance. But how could he be so deluded? That you, Caesar, could live in the shadow of his monstrosities. We must forget about these miseries. Better to think of ourselves. And you, Cornelia. You look so fresh and radiant. With every season, you're more beautiful. I know. It's because I took a long bath in coconut milk early this evening. Or maybe it's that new cosmetic you got me in Syria. Oh, darling. When you are here like this, I feel so calm and serene. My dearest, I wish I could spend every day here with you. I promise as soon as possible, we'll take a holiday and go to our house in Albano. But it's enough for me if you remain here tonight. Oh, Julius, please, I'm scared. Cornelia, don't be worried. I'm only going to meet with some friends. Rosso, Rublio, Americo. I can read your mind. You're about to do things that are irreparable. Cornelia, you are strong and courageous. You should know what's happening. I've prepared a plan to overthrow the dictator. But you're risking your life. To do nothing is more of a risk. Silva's been arresting one after the other. It's a question of days, perhaps only hours. <gasps> you love me, don't you? Yes. And you have faith in me? Yes. Master! 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 What's the matter? Scylla's men are coming. There are many. They're coming to arrest you. What? No, Caesar. Don't let Scylla's men take you. Please. No. I beg of you. You must hide. You can't stay here. Scylla will have you murdered. Brantone, go and warn Publio. Uh, yes, yes. Don't cry. You mustn't cry. You're the wife of Caesar. Don't forget it. Soon. I swear. Caesar. How come you and your soldiers dare to enter my house by force? What is it you want? We've come with orders to arrest Caesar. Orders to arrest Caesar? Yes, Cornelia. Those are the orders of Scylla. 
Sigzer. Publio is waiting for you in the big oak forest to let me come with you. Your place is here beside Cornelia. I can be very useful. You'll see. I won't be a burden to you. You'll see. Very well. Go find a horse. And be quick. <laughs> yes, yes. I'll go and find a horse now. Here we go. This way. Be good. I've never ridden a horse before. This way. And I repeat, leave this house immediately. You and your legion of soldiers. You must forgive me, Cornelia, but I can't disobey the orders of Sela. coming with us. Where is he, the fool? There, come on. if it's the other way. Be quiet. Come on, follow me.
This is going to hurt. Burn the flesh in order to stop the bleeding. Hurry, Publi, or I'll do it. you bring in Caesar? Answer me, why? I did. Nothing. You must know the hiding place of Julius Caesar. Evidently you're on his side, true? Speak, traitor. I don't know anything. Oh. Again. And this time in the eyes. He will speak. We wait here and begin no. again in the morning. I can hear the barking of Silla's hounds. They're tracking us. His blood's on fire. It's the infection. Silla knows very well that as long as I'm alive, one day he'll find himself dead. There's a beach down there. So take courage, Caesar. The beach. You're not pulling me, Publio. I have no more strength. Come on, let's go. dead. He'll serve as an example to all those who are accomplices of my adversaries. You think I don't know what's going on behind my back? In order to take my command, they would put any of my enemies in my place. Mamerko, Rasso, or even perhaps a popular commoner. Isn't that so? But I also know even in Rome, heroes are not plentiful. They all put a price on life. And as long as Scylla is dictator of Rome, they will all listen to Scylla. Now listen to me well. I offer 20 pieces of gold and a promotion in rank to whoever captures Julius Caesar. You are to unleash your men everywhere, toward the mountains, toward the grottos of the Sabine. You'll pardon me if I dare to give my opinion. I suggested to extend the search. It appeared that Caesar was heading toward the sea. You could be right. But of course. You, Lucio, you must start right away with your navy. And you are not to return until you are sure that Caesar couldn't possibly be on a ship. And now you will all go. And remember, I want him alive. Understand. For you, I would gladly throw myself in the ocean if it could help you. He feels terribly responsible because of your wound. 
He thinks if we hadn't waited for him, Scylla's men would never have caught up with us. He's so concerned about you. Poor Fontani. There are servants who have more heart than a king. <laughs> They've been running too much. Do you realize that Scylla has promised a reward of 20,000 denarii to whoever brings in Caesar? If the horses die, we'll replace them with others. Onward! feeling that we are searching for a needle in a haystack. It's more like trying to empty the ocean with your bare hands. Whoop. We need to build a raft before Scylla's men return. Good. Frontoni and I will begin making it. It shouldn't be difficult here. There are many trees in this area. I will do it. I know how. I'm sure you do. You stay and get some rest. Is that an order? It's an order. <laughs> then I'll obey it. refuge in this marsh. He feels safe in the middle of all this mud. Glauco, you can't keep on this way. It's much too dangerous. Onward, you weaklings. Isn't it? I hope we can get help before the infection gets any worse. And I thought you were supposed to be such a good doctor. Quiet. Caesar has more strength than a dozen lions.
Yes, Lydia? The Consul Lucio urgently requests to speak to you. The Consul Lucio? Help me, quick. Lucio. Forgive me, Cornelia, for disturbing your sleep, but I have just returned to Rome and could not wait until day to bring you the news. There are spies posted all over. News? What news, Lucio? Caesar escaped, and by now he's surely safe. Caesar. The order was given to abandon the search an hour ago. So the gods have answered all my prayers. Please have faith in us also, and not only the gods. Caesar will return, I know it. And Scylla shall cry and tremble, because Rome is with Caesar. You are dear to me, Lucio. Not for a moment did I doubt you. But I'm not the only one. And now go to sleep, Cornelia, and don't worry. Thank you, Lucio.
How can I bear to tell him on the news? One of our ships was attacked and destroyed by sailors of Atania, and worse than that, the Claudia has fallen into their hands with the other women. I was only able to get away by luck. But I'm frightened of Hamar's anger. You don't know it. I know that he'll kill me when he hears my story. Calm down, Gerardo. I'd better take care of telling him. Because he lost a cargo and a girl, it doesn't mean the end of the world. Hamar never returns to the air. Today shall begin a festival. You see, gold pieces in abundance from Alexandria. Ebe, Siren of Farmacusa. Here. This is for your dowry on the day that you marry the valiant Akim. I've waited long for this moment. And Claudia, where is she? Does she not know that I'm here? Hema, hey, there's no news I'd rather spare you. Claudia isn't coming. The boat hasn't arrived yet? It isn't going to, Hema. Hey, what is that you're saying, Ebe? The king of Atania has broken his treaty with you and one of his ships attacked by surprise the ship that was transporting the women. They also took the treasure offered to you by the Cypriots as a peace fund. It is impossible. And by this time, Plaudia is a slave in the king's bedroom. Plaudia will never be slave to any king. Akim, go bring the booty ashore and rearm the ship. I want only the freshest, the best, and most courageous sailors. We break sail at once. But hey, Ma. Don't argue. All right, start unloading and make it fast. You see the king will pay a dear price for this affront, ladies. Like hearts, sons of a jackal. <laughs> It's the same. Each of us has his own cross. You have Scylla, I eat him. This specimen of misery and insubordination. He has brought us a great deal of trouble because of his stupidity and folly, right, Edom? He attacked without my knowledge a ship of pirates, bearing a cargo of gold. Besides disobeying, he has brought Claudia, mistress of their leader, Hamar. He will never believe it was a mistake. He will start after her. Since you are here, let us say, without official responsibility in your country, I feel that destiny has brought you to my land for a reason. You could help me clear up my military affairs as the king's private counselor. Hmm, a commander of Rome in your service as an ordinary mercenary? Do you have any intention of abandoning your allegiance with Scylla? <laughs> Never. Rome is too strong for me to ever let her become an enemy of mine. You too are a Roman, the same as Scylla. And all these years, Rome's had many masters. She changes with every breath of the wind. Gracchi, Mario, China, now Scylla. And tomorrow, who knows? Tomorrow? Scylla could ask you for my head. You're too valuable to me to let you go. I'd be forced to demand a price much too high. <laughs> Do you like my dance? Extraordinary. I've never seen any better in Rome. banquet is in honor of my guests, the Romans. I hope that it pleases you. My thanks for a feast that I think would turn the heads of even the barbarians. Just so, but not the Romans. As children, we were brought up badly and have never been given the opportunity to enjoy the delicacies of life. Uh, your servant seems to have an appreciation of them. Mm. Powerful king, with your permission, it's been five days since I've eaten. And as for your dancers, blood is not water!
yourself another girl. Did you hear me? many sales, but he's obedient. It also seems the girl interests you. Even so, it's not my habit to violate any of the prisoners. But when the prisoner's a charming girl? asking too much to request passage for me and my friends on a ship going to Mileto. And what do you expect to find in Mileto? The governor Romano Valeria Tequato is a distant relative, a cousin of mine. You may go. You are much too charming, Caesar. Perhaps some other time we'll meet again. There's a boat that sails tomorrow morning at dawn, but... Well, that would be excellent. Thank you. And now I shall retire. You wouldn't like to stay a little bit longer? Just to look at the beautiful girls, you need only choose. <laughs> Thank you, Nicodemus. They're yours. Let him leave tomorrow. Scylla is probably halfway here looking for him. Leave Caesar to me. Tonight could easily be his last one. Calm down, Edom. That man will be on the ship to me later. But he'll be in pleasant company. What is the meaning? She's the promised bride of Hamar. You haven't forgotten. What about it? Edom. Your mind is not nearly as powerful or big as your body. Claudia will also be on that ship with her new master. And if the ship happens to get attacked by pirates, especially if Hamar happens to hear that his beauty's on board. The idea is magnificent, my king. Magnificent. Here, catch. Don't throw that. Come on, let's play pirate. Try again. Here, what you know that, I said? Oh, I'm tired of this. Let's play something else. <laughs> Come on, I bet you can't catch me. I can too, but I don't want to. Come here now. Captain, it's all clear. Bring all the sails up, batten down the hatches, and let's get moving. Let's hope the wind helps us. Master, we didn't do too badly at the banquet, hmm? Yes, I believe it, because you waited number ten. And what should I have done? <laughs> It's been two years since I've seen you. What are you doing here at Nicomedia? I'm returning from Athens, where I studied history and elocution, as my father had asked me to do. Publio, this is Quintilia, daughter of Valerio Torquato, Council of Mileto. Shall it be? And you, Caesar. As you a matter of fact, I'm on my way to Mileto to see your father. Julius Caesar, I have been sent by King Nicodemus, who gives you this slave and wishes you a pleasant voyage. A rather late gift. Also very beautiful. Say thank you to your king. It shall be done, Caesar. And so, Claudia, now you are my slave. It is the destiny of those who lose their liberty. 
It's true you lost your liberty, but now I give it back to you. From this moment, you're a free woman, Claudia. Publio! Everyone must know that this woman has her liberty and is under my protection. Inform the captain immediately. Why have you liberated me? Because you appear more like a queen than a slave. Make sure the men are on the alert. It would have been better to enlarge our escort. I know these waters and I don't feel secure today. Postmen on all four In sides. The water, you'll have nothing to worry about. Scylla doesn't really have the sympathy of my father, nor mine very much. I was positive I could count on the solidarity of Valerio Torquato. Perhaps it is the Romans of the colonies who will return to Rome her liberty. Who knows? Ship in sight! Look! There's a ship in sight! We should assemble it again. But it's coming towards us. They seem to want to run us off our course. Don't be pirates. Tell the men to get ready for battle. Ah. dare to raise a hand to you? Nobody dared to touch the woman of Hamon. And the other women? They remain there to satisfy the king's appetite. Why did you let me go ahead and kill him? Answer me, why? Was he the Tanya? He saved me from slavery. All right, but who is he? A Roman consul. He must have riches then. Without a doubt. To ask a high ransom for it. All you men are prisoners. Now you get over there. Move or I'll slit your throats. Man or woman. Come on, move. You must save me, Hamar. I offer you money. A hundred denarii, and that's not all. Also a talent of gold. And I'm sure you know the value of talent. Hmm? Certainly, Hannah. But do not be scared. I won't hurt you. Get back in your place. There are two more Romans here. Come on, you. Bring them to me. That means you, too. One moment. What do you want? That man is my friend. The other is my servant. I offer you ransom for me and the others. You're offering a ransom? Looking at your mode of dress, you should pay a high price. You may ask your own price. 
I want 20 talents of gold, and I hope you're worth it. 50. 50 talents of gold. More than you, the ship, or its cargo is worth. And who are you to think you're worth that much? That's a sum I would have asked for silver. Or Nicodemus. Isn't that right, friends? <laughs> Decide. 50 talents of gold for me, for my friend and my servant. And that girl there, Quintilia. <laughs> Pretty girl. Now I understand. Be quiet and listen. Do you all agree? Is the price all right with you? I say yes. We're all going to be rich. Then I will do as you ask. You hear that? <laughs> my people have accepted. We will decide all the details at Pharmacusa. Now get out of my sight. And every day the situation gets more critical, Valerio Torquato. It seems as though Rome wants to abandon all her colonies on the Aegean Sea to themselves. For more than a month now, we've been waiting in vain for That's reinforcements right, and payment for our garrison. It's true, Valerio. The soldiers are beginning to show discontent. The same thing is happening in Cyprus and Rhodes. The men are starting to become afraid of the sea because of pirate attacks. Yes, the pirates, I know. The only way to get rid of them is in their coves. If the pirates of Dalmatia, Saracen, and Sicily should unite, we are all finished. They'll be in control of the whole coast of Tirreno as far as Rome. Only your direct intervention with Scylla can possibly help us, because you have the name and the authority. The That's dictator right. certainly would not refuse a request for aid. Uh, you don't know, Scylla. The dictator of our republic is a man who is totally irresponsible. Governor! At last! You have some news for yes. me? Yes, I do, Governor. Some shipwrecked persons have been found in the vicinity of the island of Hydra. They were on a ship that was attacked by pirates. Whose ship was it? Where was it going? Here, to Mileto. It came from Nicomedia. Then it's the ship that was carrying my daughter. Come on, speak! Yes. My daughter. There'll be no peace until they're all destroyed. Tulio, we will sail for Rome today. I must make Scylla listen to me.
before you were all completely drunk. Hakim! Yes, Hamar. Tomorrow at dawn you sail for Rome with a captured ship, aware? For Rome, I say. Those are my orders. Are you afraid? What? Be afraid? Don't you want to go to Rome? For me, I'd even go to Hades if you give the command. Listen to me well, then. You will also take the friend of the Roman consul with you, Akim. Come here, you. You heard me. Get over here. I'm speaking to you. You'll disembark on the beach near Antium. You will have two days in which to go to Rome. Is that clear? Two days won't be enough. It better be enough time, if the House of Caesar really possesses 50 talents of gold. Because if they don't have them, my men are not going to sit around and wait while his parents are earning their fortune. <laughs> When you're in Rome, you decide to take off. You better remember that their life is in your hands. You needn't worry. I'll return in time and with the 50 talents of gold. Now, that's what I like to hear. Sometimes I could almost like you, Romans. Akim, don't take any risks during the voyage. If you cross the path of a sailing ship, leave it alone, understand? We can't take any chances. Hey, Ma, the voyage is so long, an attack would take away the boredom. You'll do as I say, Akim. Now, is that clear? This man you're carrying is worth a fortune. He is of Roman nobility, so he merits our regard. Now, you show that you're from nobility yourself, and that you've been educated. <laughs> Certainly, I studied at the gymnasium in Athens and the academy in Egypt. <laughs> I need 50 men for this mission. All right, speak up. Whoever goes gets part of the ransom. Ah! You will dress as ordinary merchants. You mustn't arouse the special. There's too much at stake. If you should meet with the Roman fleet, nothing must betray you. Because they must believe you are subjects of Etania and friends of Rome. Now, you're free. Go and enjoy yourself. to remove you from the face of the earth. And you can be sure that I'll do it. Of that, you can be certain. You read the future. My congratulations. You've been warned, Hamar. If I ever get out of here alive, I'll come back. That'll be the end of you in this nest of bandits. Just look around you, Roman. You think it's that easy to get into Farmer Cusa? Look! Observe well. Because many have tried, but no one succeeded. I'll do it, Hamer. First, you will have to get out. Why do you want to provoke the anger of Hamer? Shut up, Claudia. If this man wants to get himself killed, I'd like to accommodate him. Because I don't care about your 50 talents, understand? Better to have the pleasure of breaking your Roman neck in half. Here's the first man who dares to contradict you. You should kill him now, Hamer. There's no hurry when we have the gold. Where are you going, Claudia? The celebration's just beginning. What did you expect? Look at him. He has the blood of a tiger in love. And she's probably thinking of another. And you, perhaps, are thinking of Hamar. You women are all alike. 
You can't forgive Claudia because she's a favorite of Hamar. You be still, Akeem. Confess it, I think you're jealous. You'd like to take her place with Hamar, wouldn't you? And if that were so... I'd be happy with Claudia. Or another. There. The prisoner would be fine. You're so strange this evening. Seems as though you're hiding something. What is it? It's only that I'm a little tired. I've been through terrible days and sleepless nights. Salutations, Valerio Torquato, governor of Meleto. Lucio Cornelio Silla, salutations. Finally, you are honoring me with a visit. I hope you have brought me good news from the colonies of the Aegean Sea. I'm afraid the news is not very good. I have crossed the sea because I need the help of Rome for a situation that has already become intolerable. Continue. I know your time is precious, and I do not like to abuse it. And so I'll come straight to the reason for my mission. If Rome doesn't decide to intervene, she'll be losing her colonies on the Aegean, and also her base of operations towards the Hellespont in Asia Minor. So that's why you've come. You are here to give me a lesson in the art of politics and military strategy. I'm here only to tell you what you must already know. Nothing else, Scylla. Our waters are infested with pirates. Commercial traffic is practically at a standstill. Discontent is spreading among the soldiers, and the people are asking if Rome still exists. I appreciate your sincerity. But it could also be that the long years of your command have begun to weaken your energy. Scylla, the situation is truly grave. We need the help of a fleet and reinforcements. Calm down. And you, Valerio. Why are you so disturbed? Is there another reason that you've come? Yes. My daughter was aboard when they were ruthlessly attacked by pirates. She's a prisoner. I see. The pain of a father is much stronger than any argument. I'm terribly sorry. But at this moment, I cannot recall to the Aegean, the fleet in Tereno, nor the one in the Adriatic. For the time being, I think, you will have to count entirely on your own forces. Aha! So it's true that Scylla doesn't have more arms to combat his enemies to the east. That's enough! Valerio Torquato, send your second in command back to Maletto before he knows my anger. Please give me the help I need. I must have a few ships to go after the pirates' coves. Crete, the island of Sapienza, Farmacusa, the Black Sea. I will get rid of every one of them, and the glory will go to Rome. And Scylla! Don't insist, Valerio. You see, Rome is also going through a situation that's very difficult. Rome or Scylla! As long as I live. When you say Scylla, you mean Rome. Then we're agreed. I'll wait until the day after tomorrow. But don't forget, if you don't return in time with the 50 talents, your friend Caesar will be finished. Don't worry.
You may go. Try to sleep, mistress. Good night. Good night, Lydia. You can't sleep either. I could sleep on top of a ship's masthead, but not here in this dark, infamous place. Of course, in Pharmacusa, there aren't the comforts of Rome. No, I'm not speaking of the houses, but of the people in them. Do you despise me? You belong to Hamar. That's not for me. But I saved your life. Now you regret having done it? I don't deserve your hate. I'm not like the others. And why aren't you? When I was a child in Imperial, Hamar saved me from, from a shipwreck in which both of my parents were killed. So out of gratitude, you now share Hamar's bed. Am I mistaken, or is there someone who refuses your offer of friendship? Be still, Abby. I won't permit you to spy on me. I go where I please and see what I please. Or has Hamar elected you queen of Pharmacusa? Isn't it jealousy that makes you speak like this? For me, it's enough to be loved by only one man. But for you, it seems... Abby, you dare to accuse me! Now get out of here! Get out! Claudia! What's this all about? Why were you fighting? Now speak! 
No. No, I won't. You'll speak. Look at me. Look at me, I said. Do you love him? Tell me. Let go of me. You're hurting me. You haven't answered my question. Have you betrayed me? No, him, I haven't. But you love him, don't you? Yes, I do. He's so different from all of you. <laughs> Go ahead. What good will it do? All you know is violence. <laughs> ah! I want to go away from here. Away from this wild place. I want to live among civilized people. I want to be mistress of my own life. Ah! Ah! You will remain here beside me. Ah! You are my slave. Kill me. Do whatever you want. I don't belong to you anymore. <laughs> Floyd, you'll forget this, Roman. I know you will. see with honor her most worthy citizen. Tell him I'm waiting anxiously that I live for the moment of his return. But if the pirates are lying and break their pact... You needn't worry, Cornelia. Both of us will return to Rome. It does seem like one of our ships. Have it come alongside. Yes, sir. I'd like a better look. What are you doing, Frantoni? I would have been glad to help you. I finished. The next time you give it to me to do. All right. Thank you. You're very kind.
Now, don't you be worried. Publio will be here soon. You love him, don't you? I, uh, yes. Publio's the dearest friend of my master. As a boy, young Julius saved his life. It happened while they were bathing in the Tiber. From that day, they've been inseparable like brothers. In Rome, doesn't Publio have anyone that... No. His father and mother have been dead a long time. No, there's no one there that he's interested in marrying. So now I think I should get back. You're now master of Pharmacusa? Are you trying to make slaves out of my men? I surprised them while they were putting their filthy hands on Quintilia. It's your responsibility that they respect the girl. You speak to me of respect for a woman? If you're accusing me, then speak out. He's here! In a little while, you'll be free, Caesar. I should be. But you know the intentions of Hamar. Caesar, Fuglio isn't there. I'm afraid. Tell me who was it, the Roman? 
Romans? No, it wasn't the Romans. All right, who did this? Eat him. Him again? Why didn't he kill you? Tell me, or I'll hang you from the mast of the ship. You ordered us not to show ourselves. Edom's ship crossed our route and we couldn't do anything. But why didn't you get out of the way? He moved faster. Before I knew it, he appeared in the prow. I'm sure he recognized that it was the ship we had taken from him. And the talents of gold? Edom took them. A demon. He was able to get it all transferred. I brought it to Atania. Get away! I'll even up the score for this betrayal and I'll kill his worthy king. Is he alive? He's breathing. Let's go. What are you doing? Leave him alone! Did you hear me, Roman? <laughs> <laughs> You know it. Nothing will change my mind. I'll dig those pirates right out of their den. With only three ships? Studio, I won't return to Maletto without doing battle with Hamar. In the morning, Hamar will put an end to your agony, I promise you. Ah, so you've arrived finally. I was getting bored with these Romans. Good night. Good night. Hurry, you'll find a ship there. Go on. You come too. Go before it's too late. But they'll kill you. Go, Caesar. Bobby! You could never love me. No one will dare to touch me because of Hamar. Claudia! Claudia! 
I'm here, Hema. Here. Are you here to see your Roman? No, Hema. You know I follow you like a slave. I knew you would. You belong to me. Kiss me. in your condition. You're too weak. Aren't you glad to stay here with me? Of course I am. Dearest. of the Saracens. What do you mean it's clearly a Dalmatian ship? What are you waiting for? Turn the crank and hurry! Did you come to watch me die? Listen to me, Claudia. I can still give you salvation. Just say where Caesar is hiding. Is he still on the island? You're wasting your time. I've already accepted my fate. It will be a horrible death, Claudia. I warn you. You understand. Go away, Hamar. 
Aziz is now free. You can't harm him anymore.
wanted to see where Plotty is, well, take a look at her. You came back. I knew you would. Caesar, you are triumphant. Cornelia's waiting. As for Rome, that will be as long as I enjoy the favor of the people. 